So this lesson is called Solving Equations 101, and in it I'm just going to describe the basic strategy that you're going to use when you solve equations. Okay, so first thing you have to do is you have to remember that you're given an equation that's where two sides are equal. And whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So if you're going to add something to one side, you have to add it to the other side. So whatever you do, whatever you choose to do, you have to make sure that you do something that's going to maintain the equal. And um, so this is super, super important because if you don't do this, you're going to get the wrong answer. Second thing, and you'd think I wouldn't have to say this, but don't do anything that makes the problem worse, okay? You can do whatever property of equality you want to an equation. If you wanted to, you could add pi to both sides. However, adding pi to both sides would make things worse. So why do it? So when, you, when you're solving an equation, what you're really doing is you're undoing whatever has been done to the unknown. And so you need to make sure that each step you take gets rid of something that was done. So don't do anything that makes things worse, all right? Choose your pose wisely. Okay, next, you need to be able to justify your steps. Well, first, you gotta show your steps, and then you have to be able to justify them. That means every step you take needs to have a mathematical property behind it, backing it up, uh, so that you know that um, when someone asks you, you can say like, hey, I did this and I used this property. So you can totally justify to someone that your answer is correct. Now, before you do that, you should always check your answers on your own. That's one of the things I loved about mathematics was when we got to the point where we can solve equations, we could plug the answers in to make sure they worked. So always check your answers. And it's going to seem kind of annoying with the really simple equations, but actually when we start to get into the more complicated equations that involve square roots, you have to check your answers because sometimes you actually will keep all these other things, you do all these other things correctly and you'll get an answer that actually doesn't work. So make sure you check your answers. And you don't have to do that on paper. You can do that on the calculator. And when we do examples, I'll show you examples of how to use a calculator. The last thing, and this is the only thing that's like truly new for most of you, um, is going to be how I want you to write your solution. You have to write your solution in something called solution set notation. Um, and so I'm going to show you that when we do examples. And so the examples are all in, in another video, but before I do that, uh, show those, uh, before you watch those videos, uh, you will notice that there are three hamsters in the corner. There is Beast, Cheddar, and Buttercup. Okay, so when we go through these examples, Beast, Cheddar, and Buttercup will appear in the videos. If you only see one hamster in the video, that means those problems are really easy. If you see two hamsters appear, that means those problems are more challenging. And oh no, if you see all three hamsters appear, that means that problem that you're about to simplify or solve is going to be very challenging. All right, so look out for Beast, Cheddar, and Buttercup.